Hi everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and today I'm going to show you a new book I've got out called Theory by Hand and you have to be able to do this with your hand and if you can do that then I can show you a bunch of really cool things that you can do with it. So you got to be able to get these two fingers together. If you need a rubber band to tie them off for a little bit, uh, give that a shot. But if you can do this, there's going to be some neat stuff. So let's take a look and I'll show you how it works. All right, so this Theory by Hand book will show how to build major and minor scales, pentatonic scales, blues scales, um, how to build chords, and then how to make, uh, how to, which chords make up the different keys. So lots of really important stuff. Um, they just, uh, it could just take a little bit of time to get it down. So don't worry if it does, but we're going to go through a lot of examples today. Once you get it, you can just skip the rest, uh, but I'm going to go through a lot of examples to make sure we can all follow along. Okay, so these, uh, this theory by handbook, um, I came up with eight big ideas uh, that I want everyone to be able to see. Building major scales, major pentatonic scales, how to build chords, which chords make up key major keys, uh, how to build blues scales, natural minor scales, pentatonic scales, minor pentatonics, and then chords that make up minor keys. So today we're going to focus on the, the, big, the biggest idea in Western music, which is the major scales and how to see those um, in any key. So uh, to do that, we want to be able to see what a fretboard looks like or a keyboard, um, what it looks like. And so um, we've got these three black keys and then two black keys and it repeats like that. And then um, we've got um, black keys in between every pair of keys except for B and C are right next to each other and E and F are right next to each other. And some folks who have been having trouble remembering that, I started telling them that um, blue cats eat fish. So if you picture a blue cat eating some fish, uh, you'll remember B, C is right next to each other and E and F are right next to each other. And then all the rest have uh, black keys in between them. And so you want to be able to see um, to see how far apart these different notes are. Um, so there's this idea of steps. So G to A is called the whole step. You're, going, you're skipping a, a key right here or on a, on a fretboard, you'd skip a, skip a fret. So on, on the uh, G here, this is a, uh, a G note. So G to A, I'm gonna skip a fret, okay? This would be G sharp or A flat. Okay, so one fret up from G is G sharp or A flat. And then I want to be able to see, like all the major scales, they have the same pattern of, of spacing or whole steps and half steps between them. And so if I can see, like what's a whole step up from G? That's A. What's a whole step from B? I'm sorry, from A, that's B. If we wanted to do a whole step from B, we've got to skip the C and go to C sharp. Okay, um, and I'll tell you why it's not D flat later um, if we're going from B to C sharp. That's why it's often not. So uh, let's, take a, let's take a look at how to build those and then see if we can make some sense out of this. So uh, with my hand method, what we're doing is your thumb is the root note for major keys. Okay, so this is Do. Okay, and then I'm going to go from Do to Re. Okay, Do to Re, that's a whole step because I'm skipping a fret or, or a piano key. Okay, so Do is one, Re is two, it's a whole step up, Re to me is a whole step up. So Do, Re, Mi. Mi to Fa is a half step. That's why we're holding these fingers together. So Do, whole step to Re, whole step to Mi, half step to Fa, whole step to Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. Okay, so the five here is a whole step up. Now you're on your pinky. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. Okay, then to be able to do this on one hand, we have to jump across a whole step from sol to la, okay? So this finger right here, your first finger in the middle of your finger, that's la. Then we're gonna go a whole step to t, because it's a, a big space there. So la, whole step to t. So we went five, whole step to six, whole step to seven, and then once we're on seven, it's just a half step back to the octave. So half step back up to eight. So every major key is gonna be do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Okay, whole step, whole step, half step, 
whole step, whole step, whole step, and then a half step. Okay, so how does that relate to, to piano? Let's say we're doing, or the, or the guitar, or any other instrument. Let's say we're going from G to A. We're going to do the key of G. Okay, let's zoom in so it's a little easier to see. So G to A is going to be a whole step. A, a whole step from A is B. So G to A is a whole. A to B is a whole. Okay, B to C is a half. B to C is a half. I'm not calling it B sharp because I can only use each letter once on a major scale. G, A, B, not B sharp. We're going to call that C. Okay, a whole step from C is D. So a whole step from C is D because we're skipping C sharp, D flat. D, we're going to go a whole step to E. Okay, whole step to E. Then from E, we got to do a whole step up to get to F sharp. Okay, so E and F, remember, eats fish. They're right next to each other. So E, a whole step up is F sharp. And then to get back to the G is just a half step. So the key of G is G, whole step to A, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And then on my Theory by Handbook, you can see uh, for it shows you all the major keys right here. So G... Go a whole step to A, okay, so follow along on this line down here. A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp, half step back to G, okay? Then if I want to see those notes laid out on an instrument, let's see them on a piano. So I'm using my uh, fretboard toolbox complete piano. This one's the interactive ebook. So I'm going to go to the key of G major, and then tons of important stuff up here, but more of it will make sense if you can go through this hand method. So now to look at the key of G, I'm going to go G, whole step to A, whole step to B. Okay, so you can follow along down here. B to C is a half step. C to D, whole step. D to E, whole step. E to F sharp is a whole step, and then F sharp is a half step back to G. So on this book, on the piano book, the white circles are your major scale notes. Okay? On a guitar, I can see the same thing. Uh, if I want to go to the key of G, okay? then I can see, here's my G note, this is my root. So G to A is a whole step, A to B is a whole step, B to C is a half. Okay? Then I can see those notes laid out all over the fretboard. If I want to see it on a mandolin, same story. It's the exact same chords and notes uh, that make up the different keys. It's just where they laid out. So G, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, and then this D and this D are the same note. So you can see um, it's when, when you can see all those notes and where they're laid out, um, some cool stuff starts to happen. So let's try some different keys. Let's try the key of, let's say, C major. Okay, so we're going to start on C, that's going to be our root note. I'm going to go a whole step to D, then I'm going to go from D a whole step to E. E, I'm going to do a half step up to F, F, whole step to G, G, whole step to A, A, whole step to B, and B, half step to C. So the reason piano players love the key of C is whole step takes me to D, whole step takes me to E, half step takes me to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, and then half step takes me to C. So that's all white keys. Remember the key of G was G, whole step, whole step, half step to C, whole step, whole step, whole step, and then a half back to the G. Okay, so you can check yourself here. And then with this um, Theory by Handbook, I made worksheets that go along with it. So you can try those out, see if you can fill out those for the different keys you want to play in. And then you can use page five to check your answer. So you can just click and jump back to five here and, uh, and then see where, what are all those different scales. So let's look at the key of, uh, let's try D major.
Okay, so start on D and then pause it for a second. See if you can do the whole key of D and then uh, come back with me and we'll, I'll show you how it's done. Did you pause? All right, so we went D and then we're gonna go a whole step to E and then we gotta go a whole step from E. Okay, so I'm going D to E as a whole. E a whole step takes me to F sharp. I gotta go in alphabetical order so I can't go D, E, G flat. So I'm doing D, E, whole step to F sharp. Okay, then I need a half step. Half step takes me to G. G, whole step takes me to A. A, whole step takes me to B. B, whole step takes me to C sharp. And then C sharp to D. So that's D, whole step to E, whole step to F sharp half step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, whole step to C sharp, and then a half step back to D. On a piano, the key of D, if I wanted to see that, just scroll down to the key of D, and then I've got whole step, whole step, half step, whole, 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 half. So it's always whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, so at this point, if you're getting how it works, then what you should do is, um, on the uh, Theory by Handbook, there's a section at the end called Ways to Practice the Big Ideas. And so it'll say, go to the Fretboard Toolbox website, and then I've got all these free jam tracks to play along with. And then you can work on, in the key of D jam tracks, I want to work on the D major scale notes and playing along with those and mix up the order. And, uh, and once you start doing that, you're, that's the start of improvisation, when you're messing around with the right scale and uh, in the right key. So to get to those jam tracks, you can go to the Fretboard Toolbox website, and then click on 200 free jam tracks and then for the keys of G and then I've got minor keys and blues keys in there too but we're just doing major today G major A major C major D major E and F major I've got all these jam tracks you can click there and then you can play along with all of these using the major scale notes so this is gonna hopefully start to look familiar whole step whole step half whole, whole, half, okay? And once you start getting that pattern, some neat things start happening. And later on, I'm gonna show you um, where your blues notes are found, okay? So, one, do, re, mi, or one, two, three, okay? And you flatten the third, three, four, five, flatten the five, five, six, seven, flatten the seven. So my bluesy notes are down here. If that doesn't make sense yet, don't worry about it. Um, but once you start once you start seeing kind of uh, which notes are in the key, I'll show you the pentatonic scale notes, and then I'll show you the bluesy notes. Um, we'll start to make some fun things happen. So if, uh, if, if that's all you want to see today, then you should, uh, you should take off. If you want to pick up your, uh, if you want to pick up your own theory by handbook, just go on the toolbox website to more and click theory by hand. And then you can uh, download a print version that I'll mail to you, or the interactive ebook we use today, or um, the standard ebook, which is just like the print, except you print it off yourself. Okay, so you can pick that up. If you want to see the, um, the instrument books, I've got them for guitar, mandolin, bass. Um, you can just click on whatever instrument that you play. And then um, today we were using the complete editions. So you just click look inside and then you can download uh, your own uh, preview pages for those. It's all the instructions plus the key of G major, E minor, and G blues pages. Um, and so you can see if you find it useful or not. But if you are, uh, if you're still wanting to work through a couple ideas uh, and you want to stick around, um, let's let's practice a couple more. So uh, let's say we want to try the key of A major. Okay. So I'm starting on A, and then pause here and see if you can see if you can get all those on your own. Paused. All right. So we got A. I'm going to do a whole step to B. Okay. So A to B. Then from B, I got to do a whole step to C sharp, A, B, C sharp. Okay, from C sharp, I'm going to go up to D, A, B, C sharp, D. Okay, from D, I want to go a whole step to E, 
D to E. From E, I'm going to do a whole step to F sharp. Okay, so I'm skipping the F. E to F sharp. So we got A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. Okay, then I need a whole step to G sharp, and then a half step back to the A. Okay, so the key of A is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And on the piano book, you could see that by just clicking on the key of A major. And I got A, B, C sharp, D, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, and so it's those white circles. On a guitar, if I want to see the key of A, if you look how far these notes are, A to B is a whole step, B to C sharp is a whole step, C sharp to D is a half, D to E is a whole, E to F sharp is a whole, F sharp to G sharp is a whole, and G sharp to A. So after a while, those things will start feeling a lot more familiar. And, uh, and with that Theory by Hand book, you can just practice. Um, you can practice those in, in uh, all these different keys and then, and then test yourself. Like really try that worksheet and, and see for the keys that you want to play in, like how much of those can you fill out. And once those start becoming natural to you, there's going to be some neat things that will happen. Like if I tell you that uh, G major, that all major chords are built out of the 1, 3, and 5 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I tell you that the 1, 4, 5, 1, or I'm sorry, 1, 3, 5, if that's your major scale notes, then you can see G major is going to be made of G, B, and D. A major is going to be A, C sharp, E, etc. So, or if someone says, just, uh, just play the 1 and 5 notes, then that'll start to make sense. Later on, we'll see how chords relate to all this, and there'll be a lot of neat things coming. So anyways, uh, I know that was a long video, but, uh, but I hope that it uh, gave you some ideas. And if you can do that with your hand, uh, we're going to have some neat things coming up. So I appreciate you taking a look, and I'll have lots of vi more videos coming on lots more instruments.